Hey, good evening, everybody. Hey, Jason, those things. Al, Tobias. Hey, no, I'm not writing tomorrow. I'm not doing the ZRL tomorrow. Uh, I've got a phone call that clashes with it anyway. Um, even Eamon, Luke, Sean, Doms, Domzy, how do we say your name? Do we pronounce the Ian name? Did you do a base ride today? No, uh, it's just this today. Just this. Uh, but we're kicking off a big week of riding with this today. And then hopefully an easier week next week. You mean Ian? Rasha, indeed, tomorrow's gonna be the worst. Hey Jess, thank you. I got gloves on, I got gloves on, that means business. <laughs> i tell you why I've got gloves on. It's because, for some reason, well, it's not for some reason. I actually need to, I need to clean my hoods because they're getting sweaty and they're holding the sweat, so they just become all slimy. I'm sorry, that sounds gross, but like, yeah, that's what's happening. So I need to give them a bit of TLC. Um, so my, my, my shortcut, my hack is to wear mitts tonight to, because it's it's gonna sound weird, but like I don't like the feeling of it. Like, it doesn't actually hinder my performance, but in my head I'm like, ugh, and that puts me off, so that's why I'm wearing mitts. Dumsy, Arctic. Good evening, Mac. Philippe. Nice, Vono, nice. Yeah, they used to have neutralized start. Thank you, Phil. Welcome to the stream. No worries, Jason. No worries. Yeah. I'm not surprised, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you. 
So who's raced today? Anybody raced today? Anybody just ridden their bike today? What's been happening? Rest day. What are you supposed to put the category in your name? I'm absolutely terrible at admin stuff. <laughs> nice one, guys. Nobody could race today. <laughs> Ah, oh, first back after illness. I hope you're recovering well. In any case, we've seen the rider posted for Saturday. <laughs> Slightly off topic. Aaron has a love specifically for it. I wasn't sure how to word it, Keith, so uh, hopefully I've crossed all the T's and dotted the I's. Going Edward on uh, on Keith Hill. I'll try my best, you know. <laughs> I'll try my best. I think anything around that ten minute mark, nine ten minutes, I think I'll be happy with that. What's happened, Chris? What's happened to your knee? <laughs> I think it's him. I know the ones, Chris. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> I'm sure people will be, Connor. I'm sure people will be. Really hard when there's so many, like, series of races on Zwift now. You know, to, to give it your all and everything. You know, and can be very difficult, very, very pressurizing as well, you know, like, you know, some people feel like they have to, I certainly feel like, you know, I, I have a certain responsibility to show up to 
you know, as many of the, you know, series or races that I can. Um, you know, it's really hard mentally for me because I know I can't show up to all of them, but I also know I can't show up to all of them in the type of shape you want me to be in. And that's what kind of gets me down sometimes. Um, but then I remember, you know, it's all part of the bigger picture, so you can only do what you can do. You can't please everybody. You can only please yourself at the end of the day, so. And it's partly why I went my own way and started racing for myself. So I don't have to be held sort of down to a calendar. I can be my own boss in that regard when it comes to racing. Yeah, and that's, and that's, you know, obviously I miss, I miss a big chunk of the summer as well, you know, and that's, it's difficult, it's not just because of what I do outside, but it's also because of where we live as well, you know, I think a lot of you can appreciate if you live in a small space and you don't have the facilities to always be, um, you know, climate control in the environment or, you know, being able to, um, you know, Zwifferis all year round or anything, like, I find it very difficult in the summer to even mentally be indoors on a bike, or even, like, off a bike, if it's really sunny outside. Um, and then you compound, like, the fact that it's boiling in this room in the summer, even in the evenings, and it's, like, even harder. So, you know, I just, just got to do what I can do and go easy on myself. <laughs> 20 permission. Yeah, that's, that's the one boss I do have to, I do have to get permission from uh, Haran. <laughs> nice one, Keith. Fairly flat too. It's only 160 meters on average of climbing every 10 miles. So it's actually the equivalent of doing like a 10 mile time trial around Ping Ed and the flats, you know, if you're doing the 15 circuit, so it's like, it's the equivalent of that. Sorry to those of you that don't live locally, you don't know what I'm talking about there. <laughs> or maybe you do, maybe, maybe, maybe the ping head loop has become that famous. <laughs> Heat training, exactly, yeah. Good evening, Phil Rich. Good evening. What's on the cards for you this week, buddy? See, the weather looks pretty decent this week. I don't know what it's like up north to do, but... Um, it looks good this week down here. The temperature's starting to drop starting to get closer to zero degrees Celsius that is for those of you obviously in a, working in Fahrenheit so uh, yeah <laughs> hey Laura thing I'd loop no worldwide exactly yeah Yeah, mega kudos for the TTT on a Thursday morning. I've seen how early that is, and like, yeah, I know you're a seasoned early starter, so, um, still, you know, it's a good effort in the in the morning to bank. <laughs> Get the timing zone. <laughs> Uh, what day is it today? Monday. So Wednesday, uh, we're heading out to Pembroke Country Park 
um, the Welsh Cyclocross Championships is this weekend. It's Sunday, so I'm panic training. <laughs> Me, Emir, the mechanic, if you've just seen the video that went up a couple of hours ago, uh, and Arwell, who obviously Phil knows, who came to uh, France to do the Marmot. Um, we're heading there to do a bit of course recon for the uh, for the Welsh Championships this weekend. Uh, if you want me to include anything in the video, like me attempting to bunny hop, fall in and breaking my leg or something, <laughs> I really hope that something like that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, then, uh, yeah, we'll have a look at the course. Have a look, see what's happening. <laughs> can you just say like can you just say you've got like a bot right in for you Nick like plenty of people have done that in the past oh no you've already got the Tron bike haven't you Definitely 100 PSI in the tyres, 100%, 100% 100 PSI. Oh, my, my remount is the best thing in the world. It is, a, it is a work of art. I need to wear like, you know those things cricket players wear? You know, in their crotch. They call them a box, don't they? I need to wear one of those, I think, because I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be bruising my, uh, say no more, yeah. I need to land, you're supposed to land on your inner thigh, you see, from what I gather. You're supposed to land on your inner thigh and then sort of just slide onto the saddle. But I've not quite mastered that yet. Hmm. Yes, Ross, uh, GCN want to send the might of, uh, <laughs> the might of their, uh, their GCN army to, <laughs> to San Calabria. To be honest, I have messaged them, I said, it is what it is. If you want to take the KOM, <laughs> I won't be offended. You just declared war, though. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, definitely. I'm definitely being bit. We have a sprint coming up soon. <laughs> no, I'm not declaring war on GCN. They are far too big to be declared war over. <clears throat> I've, I've literally... Obviously, I would be... Obviously, I would be sad if I lost the KOM, but I know it's not going to last forever anyway. It's the same with any KOM, um, you know. But I, w I would be sad for five minutes, and then I'd fly out there, or rather, I wouldn't fly out there instantly. But I would do my best to uh, put up a bit of a fight. But it is what it is. Definitely, Phil, that's, that's all Scott's doing. <laughs> I mean, as far as I'm concerned, 
you know, let the people, let the people vote, you know, it's, they've asked for 10,000 likes on the video, they've got over a million subscribers, I mean, it should blast through that 10,000k like marker, because who, does, who doesn't want to see it, basically? Um, And most of those 10,000 people don't even have a clue who I am. So I can't, uh, I can't be angry. It is what it is, that's competition. But if you're wondering, yes, it does get me fired up. But I've got to play the long game, you know? I can't just turn up there next month and try and do it, you know what I mean? I'm gonna play the long game and I'm still only 28. <laughs> Take my time. Can't be reactive emotionally. Anyway, we're in a race here. We're in a race. Good morning, Jeff. <laughs> You're showing your time zone there. <laughs> But there is a bit of a balance, I think, isn't it, here, man? I think they're trying to obviously bring new eyeballs in. That's partly why their subscriber growth is always ticking over. But also, they, they do occasionally put content out that appeals to us, I suppose. You know, seasoned, seasoned riders who are interested in the geeky side of things. But, yeah. Forty. Since I shaved all my hair off, I look like twelve. I get forty. Is it literally just a sprint for first? Yeah, it's not like fastest through segment. Hey, I suspect Katie's going to take this. I was a bit early. Ooh. Oh. oh my word, I'm definitely not a sprinter, am I? My timing is off, let alone my uh, actual sprint ability. <laughs> it was good though, good little red effort there. Yeah, just imagine.
How did Katie do? Hey, hey, Lord. Good evening. That's the only reason why Lord is here. <laughs> Sees a summit finish, he clicks. <laughs> I've officially clickbaited Lord. <laughs> Although it's not clickbait. What have you missed? So far you've missed a red sprint. Where I went way too early. Or carried away. And uh, yeah, that was about it. Blob is now blobbing up, as they say. We have uh, Katie just there. We have. Uh, who's in this race? I've seen someone else. Why have I entered this then, Nick? <laughs> you just got fewer points by breaking away. Uh, it's good training though, as you say, it's good training. Which way do we go here then? You don't go left, so... Do a short lap around here, or...? Straight down. Evening, Gar. I definitely make definitely. Yes, Gareth, I will try my best. I can't promise anything. We'll see what happens. I'm not racing tomorrow night, Gareth. I'm not, I'm not racing tomorrow night. <laughs> I did it for you, Rob. It's all for you. <laughs> yeah, well, Katie, now, now is your... You, you're like, um... You, you're like, I'm trying to think of an example, like... You're like the rider that goes for like the intermediate sprint points for the green jersey and then boom, day done, rest your legs, back it up tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not Mick. I'm actually on a phone call. Don't give me grief over it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> what I do the Donny chain gang? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I've done the Donny chain gang a couple of times. It's trying to fit it all in. I was saying earlier, it's like. Now, me and Nick are secretly meeting up tomorrow night and we're we're going up to the top of the bulk of Grice and uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch a Wales game on top of the mountain huddled under a blanket and uh, with a hot chocolate and sing the Welsh national anthem on the top of our uh, top of our lungs. You might actually hear us actually from that from that elevation. I don't think there's any phone signal up there, that's the only thing. <laughs> yeah, Kit, Katie did how to sprint, and I did how not to sprint. I definitely wasn't me, I wasn't Julie Andrews. The mechanic was, because he's, uh, he's the closest one to blonde, he said. Also known as Grey. <laughs> Oh, Nick, you let me down there now. <laughs> you let me down there. <laughs> uh, oh, man, that's nasty. 900. Yeah, my... Mine were pretty cooked to be honest, Trent, but I did manage to sleep pretty well for a couple of days afterwards, so I recovered uh, I recovered fairly well. Yeah, hit the like button. Thank you. Jeff's got a point. <laughs> Thing is, I'm not actually supporting Wales, like, I'm kind of supporting, like, Brazil, because I've always, like, ever since I was a kid when I played football, like, Brazil were just, like, Ronaldinho, the original Ronaldo, you know, R9. Rivaldo Kaka. Oh man. The team was just absolutely mental. Soccer, yeah. <laughs> Ed is Brazilian. <laughs> Ed Mordinho. <laughs> oh, there was just so many, wasn't there, uh, Al? Just so many. <laughs> Eduardo, yeah, definitely. That's my new name now, Eduardo.
How are we doing for time here? 13k to go, 32 minutes on the clock. <laughs> yeah, so walk in the park now, but it won't be soon. That's the whole point. <laughs> In about 10 minutes, I think. Oh, mini attack. It's KD going for a long one. Oh, my heart rate did when I went for my coolie time sprint. My oh, heart went up to 170. That was high enough, thank you very much. <laughs> it's definitely grown in popularity, Lord, yeah. It's good. Final climb is like 5k, isn't it? So. Look at this, like 17 degrees in this room. 17 degrees. It's like 4 degrees outside. Well, it's good news for our heating bill. Bad news for me in the summer if I'm trying to race in there. Just saying. Although I know some of you zwift in sheds and they can be like 40 degrees Celsius. Fair play too. Yeah, maybe it's me generating the heat. Yeah, too right, yeah. Didn't think about that. Real talk, Jesse, real talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be back for you the second that I blow and make it on my own, make it on my own. It's in my own hands. I never look back. And I'm gone. I know where I'm gone. This is the um this is the Wahoo ticker heart rate strap. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. Thanks a lot.
Yes, it can. It's Bluetooth and AMP plus, so yeah, it can be paired to. It could be paired to your phone if you really wanted it to. <laughs> Ooh, that's a story, Gareth. <laughs> well, funny you ask that, Jez. The only reason why I don't use a chest strap indoors is because it gets sweaty. Uh, and the arm strap gets less sweaty. Um, and also, when it gets sweaty, it doesn't feel as uncomfortable as a chest strap. Ooh. I don't know you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I also find it's more comfortable to put on because the, the chest strap gets cold and uh, everybody can relate to that moment they put a cold heart rate strap on. Yep, I can smell cooking in the kitchen. Does it blend? Classic. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you do have to charge it. I do worry about it dying on me. That's probably one of the things I do worry about. Yeah, good tips, guys. Good tips. Yeah, I'm not quite as old, I'm not quite as organised as that. <laughs> anyway, there we go. The climb is coming soon. Sort of, uh, what sort of finishing time are we aiming for here? Like 55 minutes or something, or? You did 50-21. Flipping heck, we're not going to beat that, are we? Blimey, this is going well. <laughs> My GC chances, although I missed the first stage, so. Was that, Chris, did Chris do the 50-21, the or was it Ben, Ben Russell? I see both of them were doing it. Well, I heard both of them were doing it in the one I heard called Discord, but I didn't know who. Yeah, two right, guys, two right. What's the longest ZRL ride? Yeah, what's the longest in real life? Uh, what's the longest in real life? I've done 510k in one ride. Zwift ride? I've done all my longest Zwift ride. Bit of an attack. Yeah, that was from uh, from South Wales to North Wales and back again. That was good. It took us 23 hours, I think.
I am Gareth, yeah. It's good, it's real good. <clears throat> yeah, that's where Robert was, yeah. 10,000 meters for 10,000 subs. Fair play to Francis, that's a lot of work. Not just riding his bike, obviously, but the editing as well. Oh, I love Justin, yeah, he's a great personality, isn't he? He's great. Especially without, it, like, it seems like he's not even trying either, which is always good. Anyway, here we go. Climb.
That was a good leg day. It really was. Very strange. Four hundred and fifteen watts for five minutes, four hundred and eighty-five for one. So that four hundred and eighty-five would have been the uh the punch and then I don't know, like we saw like where it was on the climb. Thank you everybody. Uh where I caught him on the climb was like on a little down bit, so I kind of went into the back of him and then surged through so I don't know if it would have made a different speed wise, but Mentally, I was like aiming to get there and then go through the riders or rider, whoever was there. Um, but that, I mean, that was that was rare leg day, rare good leg day. I'm very very surprised. But saying that, it was a very long build up into that effort, like 50 minutes of warming up. So you know, yeah. Let's have a look, see where um, the Wattage Bazooka herself came. There she is, the 20th! Fair play, Katie, look, top 20! 3.7 watts per kilo. Well done! Still got people to finish. <sighs> Carl Norris. <sighs> oh. Sorry, did I see sorry I think I missed the donation. Did I did Phil Phil did you donate? If you did, was it you? And that right. Um, that's a great question to be honest, David. That's a really, really good question. Um, so obviously if it was, if it was someone like Jay Vine, I think, you know, you don't give him an inch. That's if you can even get within an inch of them in the first place. Um, I gotta be honest, I didn't look at the start list, so I didn't know who was in the race. Um, oh, thank you, Phil. Thank you, thank you. Um, so my little breakdown, yeah, I, d I didn't look, I didn't look at who was in the race. I didn't know who was there, apart from, obviously, the people who, um, I follow or already know, like Katie, for example. Um, but I did, when, I, w I waited, I waited because I could see the race was breaking up. Uh, when we were getting halfway up the climb, I could see the race was breaking up. I could see there were people going up the back and I, I was still feeling okay like my heart rate let's have a look at the let's have a look at the um the graph at the end here to give you a good uh oh my word wait a minute that was nearly the best whoa holy smokes what is this No way do I feel like I'm in this sort of form. What the heck? Look how close they are. What? Oh my word. Okay, that has totally, totally shocked me. Um, totally shocked me. Wow. Um, blimey. No, I'm, I'm, like, I've just been, I've done two back-to-back 20-hour -back weeks. Um, that's what I mean, like, just now, it was a bit, it's a bit strange, like, I just felt. Well, I don't use my, so my, my power meter says 415, so it's only a 5 watt difference. So it's definitely not over reading because I I'm, I only use, although I save, this might be interesting to some of you, although I upload this to Strava, so you see the 422 to Strava, this will be the race that will upload to Strava. I, I only add my, my power meter for my bike 
to training peaks um, so that it's consistent so I don't use the numbers that my trainer gives because then if I use this power meter outdoors then I'd be comparing do you know what I mean I'll have the same power meter so I, I try to keep it as similar as possible on training peaks on Strava it's different on Zwift it's different because it's the same thing but on training peaks it's it's more accurate so that's yeah but anyway um i didn't see the i didn't see the list of riders i did though see that on the climb on the climb i was like thank you ben well it's it's not smart it's just because i've got like 10 well i've got eight seven years worth of power meter data backed up and the more consistent i keep it then obviously the less like the less questions I have to ask myself if if I think like you know if I have to continually think oh did I use my trainer there or did I use my power meter you know it's better if it's done on the same way anyway um so on the climb so there was people going up the back and when there was people going up the back and I knew it was still the hardest bit left to come I think I knew then that um my I just wanted to I feel like I've got like a big snap on me at the minute. I could be just mental, but like, I feel like I've got like a really good top end in me, even though I'm doing lots of like endurance riding. A lot of you can probably relate to this. Um, I'm doing like very little, I'm doing zero intervals. So I'm, I'm only ever riding outdoors, just new, like sort of endurance riding. And then when I come indoors, I just do a race. So it's very like I'm doing very little intensity, but when I do, it's pretty much like this. It's like pretty hard like that for a short period of time. But I'm also going to the gym as well and balancing that. And I feel like mentally I've got something on that short, that short effort. So for this climb today, where I could see people going up the back and I knew I hadn't gone, like I knew I hadn't gone over the limit yet. And I knew I wasn't sort of on the limit. So... I wanted to see how, not how late, because it's not a game really, but tactically I wanted to see how late I could leave it before I went like flat out. I didn't want to attack and then having to like ease up and then attack again. I wanted to attack and try and hold it to the line basically, um, because you never know what you're capable of. Like there now, like that's because I've attacked and emptied the tank right at the end. Um, so it's a good example, but I, I really wanted to see what I had like right at the end. Um, but if it had played out differently, so if somebody had gone, if someone was going early and then I had to react and I had to ride like really hard, like really early, harder than I did then, for example, um, it would have turned out different and I would have had to have followed it and then there probably would have been more attack and surge, attack and surge potentially. But um, that's kind of the way I wanted it to finish. So... Um, yeah, uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Well, that's no brainer on it, but yeah, um, that's, that's my thought. No, no worries, David. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I forget to even sort of, sometimes I feel like, um, you know, people don't, well, not people don't want to hear it, but like, I don't know, sometimes I, feel like people think I'm like I don't know preaching and, and that's why I like I I shy away from doing it now because um yeah but I know there's people out there who probably don't get the opportunity to 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 pick the brains out of it then maybe or like you can't get across what you want to say on text. Um, so that's why I like having the little debrief at the end. So, well, not debrief. It's not really a debrief, but yeah. Um. Yeah, see, gradually, gradually increasing the heart rate all the way through. So it's just fairly controlled. And then... It's full on red, so like I said, I'm I'm very happy with it. So uh, yeah, all right. Thank you, uh, thank you, everybody. I won't keep you any longer in case there's any football you want to watch on TV or soccer, as Jeff says. <laughs> um, but 
Thank you for sticking around. And uh, thank you for the donation. And uh, yeah, rest tomorrow. And then we're back Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I think Sunday as well. I'm not, I'm not sure actually. So, but yeah, basically every evening, apart from tomorrow night, it's going to be a rest. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Definitely, Michael. Come on, Beth. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys soon. Take care, everybody.